Okay, this one is 3105 La Entrada Street. Um, immediately just driving up, looks like a flip. You can see the uh, paint <laughs> trail on the ground, like all the signs of uh, construction. There's a little bit of broken glass here. So they probably, uh, you know, little just pieces of debris. So there was probably a uh, one of those big blue dumpsters right here. All the trash came through in this area. Um, it's a little windy today, so sorry about that. But this is, um, it's funny, I, I actually lived just around the corner, a couple hundred yards away when I was a kid. And I uh, loved this neighborhood as a kid, but um, that's Green Valley Parkway right there. So you get just a little bit of traffic noise. Um, close enough, but not not a lot, but that is a, that's gonna be 24 hours a day, uh, high traffic road. At first glance, yeah, it looks like a flip, simple yard. The roof I can see here looks like it's not very old, so that may have been uh, updated as part of the flip. It may still be working here, you got a hose. Um, I don't know what kind of wire this is, but it doesn't seem to be going anywhere, it's hanging there. A little bit more debris, an open gate going to the backyard. There's the pool equipment. It sounds older, but it looks like the uh, the plumbing has been updated recently. But it's got that louder sound that indicates that it's not one of the uh, newer high-speed uh, variable speed quieter pumps. And this looks like solar, so it's probably solar on the rooftop there. Let's see if we can see it. A little bit tricky getting in here. The door code. You got to like. <laughs> pull the door and enter the code at the same time so I can see like fixtures with no bulbs these are really old fixtures so there's some opportunity for improvement here there's a, an evaporative cooler connected to the garage that's a aka swamp cooler looks like the little pedestal that it's on has been damaged pretty badly by water that thing's about to fall off see a piece of paneling there has been updated compared to the rest so part of that roof there might have been redone but that doesn't look like new uh, plywood so that was probably something that got done when they did the roof that may be an indication that the roof was not updated as part of this most recent renovation uh, okay the door doesn't doesn't like to shut so the front door is a little bit wonky. Um, it's got some a gasket that's getting in the way here because of the wind. There we go. Okay, we're inside, out of the wind. Popcorn ceilings. Looks like the floor's been done with laminate wood, like a light cut, light brown colored laminate. Yeah, the, the the ceilings have been painted, but the original popcorn texture is still there. Possible uh, asbestos in that. You sometimes find it. This window's been updated. And I uh, can't tell whether it's brand new. It doesn't look like it's part of this renovation, but that's not the original window. It looks like a wood burning fireplace. Little dining area. We've wrapped around into the kitchen. I want to see real quick when this was built. 1974. Yeah, you, you still had about 50-50 uh, asbestos in the, in the popcorn texture at that time, from what I've been told. So there's a little seam that runs across here. I'm not sure what that is. Let's go outside and take a look around real quick. The door, this look, door looks brand new, by the way. The slider looks like it's been replaced recently. And that's interesting. The neighbors behind you here are called the OSHA guy. <laughs> that ladder, that ladder's not supposed to be up on top of there. And uh, it looks to me like you got the owner of the house up there on the, on the rooftop with the technician. Um, don't tell the safety guy about that. So the backyard. Yeah, there's one package unit that's got a gas furnace in it. It's a good brand train, but it's older. 
So it's probably going to be a second unit up on the top. I don't see any solar panels. But they're probably up there unless they've been removed. There's another slider. That's an older slider. Pool needs a cleaning, which is normal when it's windy like this. I don't see any super bad signs of problems with the condition of the pool. This little shed there, it's not getting any younger. It's a deep pool, so that's the original like 1970s pool. It's got an actual deep end. And for all I know, for all I can remember, I might have swam in that pool back when I was a kid. Let's see if this door's gonna lock for me. There we go. Okay. Yeah, kind of a, a downstairs, almost a downstairs master suite. This is an old school door. A lot of heat is gonna radiate off of this door because it's not um, the low E doors that we have today, like this one, where there's a like a radon barrier or whatever it's called. Really low ceilings in here. Like I don't even need to extend my arm to touch that ceiling in the bathtub or in the bathroom. Old window, stained, but they've updated everything else. Oh, the bathtub is original and it's not been textured. It's, it's not in super bad condition, but there's a, a couple of flaws. That's the original metal tub, it looks like. Here's the garage. There's a light. It's got a little workbench there. Yeah, there may still be some, some work going on here. So instead of one large door, it's got two single bays. One has a motor, the other one does not. So that one's got it. No motor over here, but there's a spring. Um, and these are... Somebody's added some insulation to the doors. That's not bad, but it's a little bit weird to have two doors rather than one big one. There's an electric water heater. That's not gas, that's electric. And then you got uh, no gas here. This would be the laundry setup here in the garage. I did see a gas line on the package unit on the roof. I'm not sure what's in there. I don't really want to move stuff to find out. There's no deadbolt on this door. It's not a fire door. That's a regular interior door and it does not have a self-locking spring. That's gonna hold up the deal on appraisal. Um, whoever did the flip needs to come and get that. They're gonna end up doing it. Fire door, deadbolt, self-locking spring. Those are all things that an appraisers are gonna hit it, almost certainly. Okay, so this looks like the master suite. The window's been updated and it's not locked. Perfect view of the OSHA violations going on over there. Okay, so you walk back here, you get a, there's a little closet with attic access couple of regular closets kind of wrapped around the corner here. Yeah. There's a toilet. Really tight fit there. <laughs> a little bit. And it's got a closet door on it. There's your, that's the toilet right there. Not quite, uh, um, not, not standard operating procedure. <laughs> and a, t a little cramped uh, dual vanity with a, a shower. And there's barely enough room. Like you wouldn't even get, you wouldn't get a shower door in here between the vanity and the bathtub. Uh, less than an inch of clearance there at the bottom. You got maybe a quarter inch right here. So again, this is sort of uh, could be better. Um, I mean, if you want to, if you want to have a, sh <laughs> if you want to close off the shower, which is about maybe maybe six feet high here, and a little bit loose, by the way, 
Um, you d your only option is a shower curtain that's gonna be right up against the vanity, like water's gonna splash through onto here. A single vanity would have been the way to go here. Just put a kick-ass single vanity there and leave yourself a little room. I don't know why you wouldn't just make a, I don't know, maybe there's some challenges here <laughs> with that supply registers hanging, barely hanging onto the two screws there. That, that thing will pull right off if you, get, if you touch it. Huh. Okay. Yeah, the closet doors in here are all just original. Here's another bathroom. So this would be a little bit more what you might like to see on the other side of the wall for the master is um, a single vanity. I know that's a master suite. You gotta have two people in there probably, but there's just not enough room for the dual vanity the way it is. Yeah, all these windows are unlocked. Uh, not crazy about that, but this one is obviously a, a new window. Looks like the doors may have been replaced. No, that's the original doors. They were just painted. Yeah, the update on here is a little bit, uh, looks like they, they could have, um, I don't know, they could have done, they could have done a little better. Some stains on the floor here, probably paint. Looks like that it was paint and they tried to clean it and it's kind of left up a little bit. There's, there's quite a lot of that around. So here's another one on the flooring. See these old, looks like it's been wiped, but this was a rush, rush, rush job it appears to me this banister I don't know if you can see the the bolts are just sort of partially sunk not all the way the original iron railing here this big stain on this second to the last step uh, a home inspector a good home inspector anyway would have a field day with this I don't know if this is a new fridge. It looks used, like, see the gunk all over it. But it's in great shape. This is definitely a used oven. The hood's new. No telling if that vent runs all the way to the top though, hard to know. Oh yeah, yeah, that's not secured. Dishwasher's just sitting in there. That looks like a kind of like an epoxy um, synthetic base in there. Well, it looks good in photos, but it, this is actually a flip that probably looks partially done to me. They need to go another 10 grand on it and get it get it done. Uh, there's quite a number of things here that are um, go a little bit beyond. Uh, uh, com uh, <laughs> a little bit beyond like or a little bit short of complete like it feels like they're not done um, but some of it looks great anyway this is 3105 La Entrada Street $550,000 we'll see if that's actually a good valuation in my opinion uh, I've got a client who's looking at this one and uh, we'll do a little analysis on it I hope you enjoyed it have a nice day